Hello everyone, welcome to MBA Karo. If you are preparing for CAT 2023 and are starting your preparation right now, then this is a must watch video for you. In this, I am going to tell you that how to start the preparation and uh, is it the right time to start the preparation and uh, how can you do well in the examination if you start now. So we have 256 days left for the examination and the examination is usually conducted on the last uh, Sunday of November. This year the examination will be conducted on 26th of November. So you can save the date from now it's 26th November 2023 is the day on which you will have CAT 2023. So you have 256 days from today. Are these days sufficient for CAT preparation? Is the answer yes or no? So let us discuss on it. Some people say that you should start your preparation one year in advance. Some people say if you are in the second year of graduation, then you should start. So what is the right time to start your CAT preparation? And if you have not yet started your preparation, can you crack the examination or not? If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also join my telegram group wherein you can discuss things related to MBA preparation. So this is the general CAT timeline which is followed every year. This year you will have the release of notifications somewhere around mid or end of July or maybe in the beginning of August and online applications run for around two months in the month of August and September. Towards the third week of September they might close the, the application and the examination is conducted on the last Sunday of November. So as I said that this year it is going to be on 26th November 2023. So you have a little over eight months for preparation and these should be sufficient for your preparation. The result is declared in the first or second week of January and the GDPI uh, take place in February or March and maybe in April in some of the uh, some of the new IMs you might have till April as well. So February to April is the uh, completion of the cycle and then the uh, the results are declared somewhere around April and from May onward people uh, June onward people take admission to the IMs. So that is a CAT cycle. Now when do aspirants start CAT preparation? Some of you must be wondering that I have not yet started the preparation. Uh, is, it, uh, is it a good thing or a bad thing? So there are different kinds of people. The first category are the ones who must have started the preparation just after CAT 2022. And some might have even started before that as well. Okay, so that is the first category of students who started uh, well in advance at least one year of preparation. And then second category of the students, they waited for CAT result and then thought that, okay, let us start the preparation now. So that is January, somewhere around January, they started the preparation. Then you might be falling into this category that you are starting your preparation now. Okay, so uh, you are not very late. You may be just two months behind these people. Then there are some people who must have started, who will start the preparation after the final results of CAT. Okay, so different people have different reasons. These are someone who are like college going students or someone who could not do well on CAT last year. Then this could be the people who did uh, well on CAT, but the results were not good. So now are the ones who are done with OMEDS and all. So CAT and OMEDS did not go well. Okay, so you decided, okay, so let us give another chance or someone who just thought that, okay, let me start preparing for CAT 2023. Now, these are the ones who prepared for CAT, appeared on the interviews, could not do well, okay, or some people who were uh, still graduating and were waiting for the, uh, the final examinations. So would they start their preparation then? And there are some people who even start after CAT notification. Till CAT notification, uh, I mean, they are not interested in it. And later on, they realize, okay, let us participate in this race and uh, start the preparation. Okay. Now, which of these categories of students wins? That is the question that uh, some people say that these people are the ones who have been uh, preparing for one year. They can easily crack the examination. Others say that these people are uh, start late but they are uh, 
uh, very rigorous in their preparation. They put a lot of efforts and uh, in a short span of time, they are able to do well. Okay. So it does not matter. Okay. Which time you start, of course, you should not be starting somewhere around August, September type. So if you have, if you start by July as well, you can do decently in the examination. I myself, when I prepared for the first time, I appeared for the first time, I started my preparation in somewhere around July uh, when uh, my graduation was over and uh, then back then the, just the notification had come so started in July. So it is nothing uh, nothing wrong in preparing, starting your preparation after this also but if you are starting now that's a good way because you have uh, a little advantage of time over other candidates. So as I said, there is no definite right answer that when to start the CAD preparation. Some people must have already started it. Some uh, just started maybe uh, a month back and some people might be starting now. Some people will start in April, May. Some people even start in July, August. Okay. So anything is fine provided you put sincere efforts. Now, whenever you have an early start, you have some of your benefits. So what are those benefits of early start is first thing is that you get more time to study. Okay. So you have 256 days and generally uh, if we talk about the amount that you need to put into to crack cat is some people might take 500 hours of study uh, who are very intelligent. Some people might even take 1000 hours. So generally 600 to 800 hours some people might also put 1000 hours into preparation. Okay. Based on your aptitude level. See first thing is your potential. Some people are naturally intelligent. Okay. Uh, so they might uh, cover up these concepts faster and might even need just 500, 600 hours of preparation and can do well. Some people are average might take 700, 800 hours of preparation can do it. Some people who are slow learners might even require 1000 hours of preparation or even more right, to do well on the examination. So if you are starting now, as I said that you have 256 days. So even if you put three hours per day, okay, and it uh, maybe you can just put two two hours uh, in the beginning and gradually increase to three hours per day, or even on weekends you can maximize your uh, like weekends, your holidays, etc. You can put five to six hours per day. So even if you put three hours per day, so like two fifty into three, you would you would be putting around seven fifty hours, which are good enough for your preparation. Okay, these are this is a good enough time to crack the examination then you have obviously less time to devote per day as i said that those who will start in july august they might have to put in five six hours per day but if you start now you can just put in three hours per day two to three hours per day read regularly solve quant questions do dilr you would be able to do well then if you are starting now you can cover the basics well it is very important to cover the basics well because uh, if your uh, basics are strong, you might be able to tackle uh, the surprising questions, right? So uh, there are some people who uh, go with the, uh, the uh, solving the type of questions that are frequently asked or sort of thing. So they cover certain topics and do well on those. Uh, sometimes what happens is some questions might come up which require out of the box thinking. Okay, so if your basics are strong, you can tackle those questions. You can take more mock tests, sectional tests as compared to your peers who are going to start late because by the time they start their preparation, you must have already covered a significant portion of your preparation and you would be in a good position to take those tests. And even if you are a mediocre student, right? if you are not very intelligent, you are slow at mathematics, your uh, verbal ability is not so strong, you are not a good reader, still you can excel in the examination if you start early because you get more time to prepare and you if you develop that habit of preparation definitely uh, by the examination time you would have become more strong it is ideal time to start your preparation if you are a college student or a working professional because you might not be getting so much time to prepare later on i mean uh, you cannot put uh, too much time every day if you are a student you would be uh, having examinations in colleges okay and if you're a working professional you might not be getting enough time per day so even if you devote one or two hours per day as of now on and on weekends you can uh, put more hours you can definitely prepare well for the examination on the other hand if you are just sitting idle i mean you took a gap for it 
then even if you start late you can cover up the things but if you are a college student or working professional then you must think that you have to start your profession right now itself do not wait for the next one or two months to start your profession now no matter what time you start right if you have already started or are going to start keep certain things in mind that first thing is that don't break the continuity the problem with early starters is some people must have started in october november last year itself okay the ones who were in pre final years uh, started the preparation way back and maybe after summers last year or somewhere around that but the issue with them is they break the continuity okay they think that okay they get tired after 5 6 months of preparation uh, they give up in between uh, they take breaks okay some go for vacations and all right so that continuity if you maintain that is a key factor so even if you are starting now ensure that out of these 256 days you are preparing on at least 230 40 days right it should not be like you uh, get like let's say you are a college student you get a one month break and you just enjoy during that one month just be consistent okay because that is what is going to uh, give you the result if you break the continuity then you would find that Uh, momentum building thing again so if you are continuous with the preparation you will have momentum in towards the examination and you shall be able to do good second thing is regular revision is a must so uh, if you are starting started uh, just keep revising the topics on a regular basis so you cover some module after that revise it okay so that is uh, an important thing because you tend to forget things later on and cover all the topics if you are not strong at some of the topics now there are certain kind of topics which are frequently asked especially in quant uh, in dilr and verbal ability it is all very random okay so you cannot predict that what is going to come uh, so quant is a bit predictable you know that arithmetic is going to come in majority followed by geometry and algebra now some people might not be good at permutation combination and probability they leave that topic all together or some particular topic they leave it all together so ensure that you cover all the topics even if you cover at the basic level sometimes what might happen is you might get a basic question from some topic if you have not not covered the topic at all you might not be able to solve it otherwise if you have covered the basics at least you can put some effort into solving that question take uh, as many mock test sectional test as possible uh there should also be limit like somewhere i would say that ideal is you should take 10 to 15 minimum and maximum you can go up to let us say 30 mocks or so there are some people who even take 50 plus mocks but it becomes too tiresome because it is not only about just taking mocks you have to analyze them as well so around 15 20 or 20 to 30 mocks are good enough to uh, tackle this examination now what should be the preparation timeline what you should do if you are starting the preparation now what is the first step to follow and henceforth what are what are the things that you need to do in the coming days so first thing first is the very first thing to start is take a diagnostic test okay so you should know that where do you stand okay you just you should not just randomly start a preparation so take a test it could be either past year paper like you can solve uh, cat 2022 paper or you can take some mock test so that you know that okay this is my level these are the things that i know these are the things i do not know at all these are the things i have to work upon let us say you appear in quant section and you realize that okay you have no idea about algebra okay so you know you understand that okay this is something that i need to work upon in my preparation i have to put more effort on these areas your reading comprehension is good so you know that okay you are comparatively good in reading comprehension and you are not good at some other part so i need to focus more on that okay so similarly data interpretation uh, and logical reasoning if you believe that okay you are at zero level ground zero so you have to put a lot of efforts into this section so it is very important to take a diagnostic test either take a past year paper solve cat 2021 2022 which are as per the latest pattern okay or take a mock test that will give you an idea what is the level you are at 
ठीक है तभी आपको पता चलेगा ना आप यहाँ हो तो आपको यहाँ जाना है ओके सो माइट हैपन दैट यू आर ऑलरेडी गुड सो यू नो दैट ओके यू माइट रिक्वायर लेसर प्रिपरेशन एज कम्पेयर टू अदर्स इफ यू आर टू बैड सो इट मीन्स दैट दिल इज अ सीरियस थिंग एंड यू हैव टू पुट इन एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट्स सो एज ई सेट दैट सम पीपल माइट नीड टू आवर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन सम पीपल इवन माइट नीड फोर आवर्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन पर डे सो दिस विल गिव यू अ लेवल दैट वेर डू यू स्टैंड then you must understand the syllabus go through past year papers right see them understand that what are the topics that are being asked uh, see syllabus is only in quant okay there is no syllabus in dilr there is no syllabus in vrc just check the pattern what kind of questions they are throwing dilr is very random okay it has all different sorts of uh, tests uh, kind of sets that you get in the examination and if you wish to prepare for it so i can recommend you uh, a cell uh, a youtube channel for dilr that is by the name aptitude jab okay it has over 300 sets so you will get to know that okay what kind of questions you can uh, encounter in this section then once you have understood these things you know the ground realities that you need to put so much effort or are you at okay level you, you need average level of preparation or are you already smart and might need lesser preparation from april to july cover the entire syllabus and just focus on covering things uh, cover as i said that cover basics of everything uh, you can go to higher level in some of the topics which you find easy even if you find some topics difficult cover them at the base level okay so july up till july you must just focus on covering each and everything cover each and every topic of quant right cover all types of data interpretation logical reasoning sets that have that are there right although there is infinite thing but still you can cover a lot of varieties okay so focus on this thing in the next 3 months then from august to october you should start checking your potential in terms of test taking so now you take a test you realize okay this is your level x right and here this is your level y so it should be y should be much much greater than x if y is equal to x that means that your preparation was not good okay so this level should increase let us say you are taking you took a mock test you are getting a 50 mark here okay and in this when you are taking some mock test you are getting 80 marks so that means that you have improved uh, from this point in time so take a test now and take test in august to uh, october solve previous year papers take mock test and sectional test so if you solve a past year paper now you get a 50 marks and here if you are able to get 80 90 marks so that means that you have improved a lot okay so this is the phase where you should have covered the syllabus let us even if you cover at least Uh, like in order to take these tests and all, at least cover seventy to eighty percent of the syllabus. Okay, if you have covered at least that much of syllabus, you can tackle uh, majority of the questions in the papers. So at least seventy to eighty percent of syllabus you must cover before going into mock test. Some people think that okay, they should start taking mock test from now on and onward. If you have not covered the syllabus enough. do not there is no need of taking mock test because that will not give you a true picture okay you will uh, maybe you could have done well if you had covered the syllabus but taking a test in the beginning is important to understand that how much you know at this moment and what are the topics are there in the paper what are the topics you are familiar with and not okay so august to october should be on this and then november should be for final revision i mean take some mock test analyze those mock tests whatever test you uh, wrote in that period and right? let us say you took 20 mock tests so see that what are the mistakes you committed what are your strong areas what are your weak areas formulate strategy for the examination which section is your strength which are the kind of questions that you are going to attempt in the examination what are the common mistakes that you make which questions take more time to solve as compared to others okay etc and then you go into the examination so as i said that uh, you should take a diagnostic test at this moment so i have launched a, a cat uh, mock test based on the latest pattern uh, the type of questions that were asked uh, in cat 2022 there were new kind of questions that were present in the va section plus uh, apart from that there are uh, like there was certain change in the number of uh, tita questions 
non-MCQ question. So if you wish to check the CAD pattern 2022, how was the pattern? Uh, so based on similar pattern, I have created a mock test. The link is given in the description of this video. Do check it out. Try to see where you stand right now. And uh, then you can uh, realize, okay, this is where you stand. And uh, this is how you can improve your performance in the examination. So I'll be coming up with more videos on preparation, uh, section wise strategies, how to start, which, uh, which uh, content to refer to. Okay, what books to refer, etc. A lot of videos to more to come on CAT preparation. So if you are starting your CAT preparation, do subscribe to this channel where you will get some valuable advice on how to prepare for the examination. Uh, what are the uh, things that you must do? Step by step preparation strategy, and of course uh, revision session towards the end. So please do subscribe to my channel and join my Telegram group. So thank you for watching this video. I hope your CAD preparation journey is going to be an interesting one. Start well on time so that uh, you can eventually perform great in the examination. All the best for your preparation.